Okay, guys, welcome back. In my, we are still in the topic, still in the same topic. Kita dekat topic redox. This is my third video. Ni video saya yang ketiga. Then for those yang tak kenal saya, nama saya adalah Dr. Hussein. Okay, Dr. Hussein Haniba. This is my YouTube channel. You are looking at it. Yeah. Huh? Then if you want to communicate with me, you always most welcome to to go to my Instagram. Dr. Hussein underscore chemistry. Mm -hmm. So we are still in the same topic, redox, but a, a bit of the re, uh, revision what we have learned earlier for cation in my earlier video. Kalau perubahan charge from zero, it become a positive. It is an oxidation process. And when you have a positive become a zero, that is a reduction. Dia lah penurunan, reduction. Kalau kita ada N ion pula yang bercas negatif, eh, ada yang tak tahu kot. Okay, ini adalah benda yang bercas positif. For negative, dia akan berubah zero to negative. Dia adalah reduction. Kalau nak tahu lebih detail, what I am talking about this, you can refer to my previous video. And the negative become a zero, it is a oxidation process. So, after this, we are going to look a few examples that involve these two things. So, please stay tuned, guys. Okay. So, I'm erase this. Okay, guys. Let's say you are given an equation. Kamu diberi an equation. Eh? CuSO4 equals and you plus with a solid, a zinc, a reactive metal. Then you will get copper, dapat copper, cuprum, dan dapat zinc sulfate solution. Guys, ini dipanggil sebagai persamaan kimia. Ini adalah persamaan kimia. Di mana dalam persamaan kimia ni, if you look, uh, kita nak tukarkan persamaan kimia ni dalam bentuk persamaan ionik. <coughs> ionik ya. Yeah? So, what I will suggest, you pecahkan dulu according to the ions. So, this one, this one, I will break to Cu2 plus and SO42 minus. Guys, yang ni, you don't put ZN2 plus. Salah. This is wrong. Why? Dia, dia hanya jadi ion when it's only become ion if it combined with other elements. Now the zinc is alone. So it doesn't have any charges. Dia hanya akan bercas sekiranya zinc ni bergabung dengan unsur lain. Tapi dalam kes ni, Dia tak bergabung dengan mana-mana unsur Maka bukannya dia bercas dua positif Be careful Day 4 guys Dia sebenarnya charge zero Then you look at here The the copper The copper cuprum Dia akan jadi Dia alone and again is a zero And zinc over here Is already, already have a partner A chemical bond Therefore, it becomes Zn2 plus dan dia jadi SO42 minus. <coughs> so, sekarang ni, you look at the both hand side. Tengok kiri dan kanan. Kiri dan kanan. Do you notice or not the SO4 on both hand side? On the both hand side. is the same. If it is the same, kalau dia sama kiri dan kanan, we will exclude this from the ionic equation. Kita akan keluarkan dia daripada persamaan ion. Kenapa? Dalam persamaan ion atau redox, dia mesti kena ada perubahan dalam charge dia. Kalau charge dia kiri dan kanan still sama, tak berubah, itu bermaksud dia bukannya redox. Therefore, I can cut it off and cut it off. So, what is left behind? You dapat Cu2 plus plus Zn0 and it becomes Cu0 
plus Zn2 plus. Therefore, guys, in e, this equation is called as a ionic equation. Ionic equation. Persamaan ionic. Now, what I'm going to do, ini dengan ini partner. This is the partner. And this one, and this one is another partner. Zinc and zinc. So, I separate. Saya pisahkan mereka. Bila saya pisah, I become Cu2 plus and become Cu0. Guys, just now I teach you. When you have a positive and you have a zero, a positive becomes zero. It is oxidation or reduction. Yes, you should remember it is reduction. Dia mengalami reduction. But, ini tak seimbang. This is not a balanced equation. Then you will plus two electron in order to make it balance. <coughs> on top of it, on top of it, kita ada satu lagi, which is the zinc. Zinc zero and become Zn2 plus plus two electron. Guys, again, zero become positive. Look back the formula. Oil rig, oil rig. Therefore, dia mengalami oxidation. So, what I'm trying to say, this is your reduction equation. This is your oxidation equation. This ha have another name. Last time, last time, maybe your uh, electrochemia. Kamu pernah belajar. This thing also known as a this thing also known as a half equation. Half equation. So, those are the half equation. So, what I'm trying to say, now, from the equation, guys, saya tahu, you have the reduction, you have the oxidation. Boleh gabung jadi a redox equation. Dia boleh jadi redox equation. So, you look at here, ini ada dua elektron, and here you have the two electron. Dan ini, uh, dan juga, ini adalah benda sebelum arrow. And this is the things after the arrow. So, we can combine. Before combine, potong, the electron you need to cut it off. Cut it off. Then you get, you get finally, Cu2 plus, plus Zn0, and you have Cu0, plus Zn2 plus. Inilah dipanggil sebagai redox. Inilah dipanggil sebagai redox. Guys, do you notice or not? Redox equation that you just write it over here, the write it over here, sebenarnya kan exactly the same with your ionic equation. If you look, this equation exactly same dengan yang ionic equation. Therefore, therefore, rupa-rupanya, ionic equation also known, the other name is the redox equation. Sometimes, persamaan redox, sometimes, dia juga dipanggil sebagai persamaan keseluruhan. The overall equation. Overall equation. So, those are the redox equation. So, this is my third video, guys. If you have a question, you can put it on the comment sections. Or if you need a further communication with me, you can go to my Instagram. I'm ready to help you as much as possible. Stay tuned, guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.